Welcome back. Now, we seem to have a day for just about everything. National Potato Day, National Doodle Day, there's even a Compost Awareness Week. Well, here's one to put a smile on your face. Joining us now from outside a London hospital, we have Fee Huntington. Fee, what is this one all about? Well, then, here outside St. Thomas's Hospital, a familiar sight is the blood donation trailer. But today, a different trailer has arrived, one which has divided public opinion, as I found out earlier. That's quite embarrassing. If they want to do it, they can do it, if it's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's disgraceful. Well, he obviously doesn't give a toss. Fee. Well, that's the whole point. Is there something you're trying to tell me, Fee? Well, then, it's National Sperm Day. I have Laura Bookins with me here, who's going to explain. Laura, what's today all about? Well, Fee, one in seven couples in the UK has got fertility problems, and the British donors are drying up. How do you deal with the shortage? We import sperm from Denmark because uh, they think it's an OK thing to do, but British men are so reserved. Now, here is the answer. A mobile sperm bank, a first for Britain, and we have a couple of helping hands to guide them in. I don't think anyone would like to be seen to be going into a public uh, place like that to be doing the business. I encourage every young man in this country to donate their sperm. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Well, obviously, we're not a nation of wankers, then, are we? Well, I'm speechless. In fact, it's almost unbelievable. Apparently, you can find out more at www.giveatoss.com. I think we'll go to an ad break.